High Year 6, today in maths we're going to be looking at short division. So when doing short division we're going to be dividing a multi-digit number by a one-digit number. And we use the bus stop method with the divisor on the left, the number we're dividing by, and the dividend on the right, the number we are going to be dividing. So when dividing 84 by 6, we'll start by thinking about how many 6s go into 8. I know that one lot of 6 goes into 8, so I'm going to write a 1 above my 8 on my bus stop. But 6 doesn't go perfectly into 8. There are 2 left over, so I'm going to write a little 2 in front of my 4 here. Now I need to think about how many times 6 goes into 24. I know 6 times 4 is 24, so 6 goes into 24 4 times. So I write my 4 above my bus stop, and I now know that 84 divided by 6 is 14. Here I'm using my bus stop to divide 105 by 5, so I'll start by thinking how many 5s go into 1. No 5s go into 1, so I carry this 1 across. Now I think how many 5s go into 10. I know that 2 lots of 5 is 10, and there's none left over. So now I just need to ask myself how many 5s go into 5. The answer is 1, so 105 divided by 5 is 21. Here's one to have a go at. Lay out your bus stop and give it a try. So we start by thinking about how many times 7 goes into 2. It doesn't go into 2, so we carry the 2 across. 7 into 21 goes 3 times, so we're going to put the 3 on top, and there's nothing to carry. We've got a 0 left over, so we still need to ask ourselves how many times does 7 go into 0. It doesn't go in at all, so we put a 0 above. So we know that 210 divided by 7 is 30. For this short division, you need to follow exactly the same method. Pause the video and have a go. So how many times does 4 go into 1? It doesn't at all. And I'm going to carry across my 4. Then I'm going to ask myself, how many times does 4 go into 42? I know it goes into 40 10 times, so I should put my 10 up here. Hmm. Is this correct? Can you spot what I've done wrong? Well done if you spotted my mistake. I should have carried the 1 and not the 4. This is one of the most common mistakes in short division. So now I need to ask myself how many times 4 goes into 12, which is 3. How many times 4 goes into 4, 1. And how many times 4 goes into 8, 2. So you should have got 312. Unfortunately, when we're doing short division, our divisor doesn't always perfectly fit into our dividend. So we are left with a remainder. 6 doesn't fit perfectly into 13. It goes into 12 twice with 1 left over. We want to express our remainders as fractions of our divisor, so 1 over 6. Our answer is therefore 442 and 1 sixth. Have a go at this division and remember to express your remainder as a fraction of your divisor. 9 doesn't go into 6, so I'm going to put a 0 up here. I need to carry the 6 across and ask myself how many times 9 goes into 67. I know it goes into 63 7 times, so I'm going to put a 7 on the top, and there are 4 left over. So I'm going to carry my 4 across to my 2. I know that 9 goes into 42 4 times, because it goes into 36. But there will be 6 left over, so I need to carry the 6 across to the 1. 9 goes into 61 6 times, because 9 times 6 is 54, and there are 7 left over. 9 times 8 is 72, so it goes into 73 8 times, but there is one remainder. So I remember to express this as a fraction, it should be 1 ninth. So overall, you should have 7,468 and 1 ninth. Here's another short division to have a go at. Remember to express your remainder as a fraction. 8 doesn't go into 7, so I'm going to put a 0 up here and carry across the 7. 8 goes into 72 perfectly 9 times, because 9 times 8 is 72. 8 doesn't go into 4, so I need to put another 0 at the top and carry the 4 across. 8 goes into 46 5 times, because 8 goes into 40, so there are 6 left over. So our remainder here is 6 eighths. If you're feeling confident with your fractions, you might know that 6 eighths is equivalent to 3 quarters. So you could write your answer as 905 and 3 quarters. If you're feeling really confident with short division and you're up for an extra challenge, keep watching to find out how to turn your remainders into decimals. 6 goes into 15 twice, because 2 times 6 is 12. 
and there are 3 left over between 12 and 15, so our remainder is 3 sixths. If you're confident with your fractions, you might be able to simplify 3 sixths to 1 half, and you might know that the decimal equivalent to 1 half is 0 0.5. However, there is another way to work it out by putting some decimal places after your number, but don't forget to put a decimal place after your answer too. Instead of putting 3 as our remainder, we can put it in front of the 0, and then ask ourselves how many times 6 goes into 30. 5 times 6 is 30, so our answer is 32.5, and this is equivalent to 32 and 3 6, or 32 and a half. In this example, our remainder is 1, so we have 1 quarter left over. Can you have a go at working out what this would be as a decimal? You might have known that the decimal equivalent to 1 quarter is 0 0.25, but if you didn't, you can carry the 1 across and ask yourself how many times 4 goes into 10. 2 times 4 is 8, so we need to carry the 2 across. How many times does 4 go into 20? It goes in 5 times. So a big well done if you got 121.25. Well done for doing some short division today, Year 6. Remember to have a look on the website for a worksheet to do some practice, because tomorrow we're going to be moving on to long division.